Hello and welcome! Right, I have been saying a few times in the last few videos that uh, we've got a new camera, new camera setup, and I'm just going to run through why and what it is in a separate video. So here's that video just for you. Right, why? This is his old camera. Um, I've used these, wow, about seven, eight years. This particular camera, the Canon 70D and then the Canon 80D. Great camera. Um, it did the job. But one reason is the size of it. You know, nowadays everyone's walking around with these tiny little things. Um, there's benefits of having a big camera. Such as when you when you are out filming, people tend to leave you alone. They accept that you're vlogging. They can see that you're vlogging. They can see, or they, make, they think you're making a documentary, whatever, and they just leave you to it. When you've got a little handheld thing, they sometimes can't see. Let's say, for example, you're filming a castle, and someone will walk in front of your shot with a little camera. They can't tell that you're filming it. You see, with this, they can tell you're filming it. Uh, just little things like that. So there are benefits of having a big camera. You, you do tend to get left alone with one. But there's also a lot of downsides. Obviously the weight, it's a heavy thing. And especially for Mazzy, you know, since Mazzy came along, it's a lot to ask of her to be holding this out all day long. Even I struggle with it sometimes. So that's one big reason. Um, museums, things like that, you can get in, you know, you can get a GoPro in. You can sneak a bit of footage in. No problem at all. You usually get stopped um, when you walk in with this. Like we went into an art gallery recently and they were saying, um, I just want to let you know about the rules of photography. Um, you can take photos and videos, no problem at all, uh, but you can't use a tripod. Right? This is one thing that put, picked me up on. The, the classes is a tripod, even though it's really just another selfie stick, really. Um, and you can't use it for commercial use, so they're presuming that I'm, you know, we, we are a proper film crew. So that's one downside and one reason we wanted a smaller one. Um, and obviously the new setup is going to be lighter, it's much easier to carry around, we can put it in a bag. So many options with it. So, size, that's one reason we're changing. Now, there's many, many more, bear with me, there's many more. Another one is stabilisation. Now, stabilisation on this. When I got it, never noticed. Always thought it was great. Um, in the last two years, we've noticed it's not that great. And in particular, this last year. Because phones and new cameras now, the stabilisation on them is incredible. And it just makes our footage look rubbish. We do get a lot of comments saying, can you hold the camera a bit steadier? We hold it as steady as we can. Um, but it hasn't got an inbuilt stabilisation, hasn't this camera? The stabilisation is actually in the lens, which is not very good. It's not very good. I'm going to give you a little test now. Shall I just take you outside, film them both side by side, and you'll see the difference in stabilisation between the new one and the old one. Let's do this. So just ignore the sound for the moment. I'm going to come on to that in a moment. Um, but just check out the stabilisation difference. So, the one I'm showing you at the moment is the old setup. You see how it's jumpy? And I'm only walking normally, you know, I'm not doing anything different. I'm holding these side by side. So now I'm going to go on to the other camera, the new camera, and just check out the stabilisation difference. It's incredible. Back to the old. And back to the new. It makes such a difference. So, that I think is the main reason we went for this. Um, it was starting to get embarrassing and we noticed it about a year ago. We need to change cameras, we need stabilization. So, that's reason number two. Reason number three, sound. So I'm filming on the old camera now. The sound is excellent. The microphone is excellent. I can't even remember which microphone it is. I think it's Rode Video something plus something like that. It is a great microphone, but as you can see, it's a rubbish mount. The mount, if you don't put something in between it, it clicks as it rattles. 
Um, so we have to put a sponge in there, which looks disgusting. It leans to one side, it looks awful. And the other big problem with it is, when we turn it that way, filming something in front of us, the sound, if, for example, if there's someone drilling in front of me, it will not pick up my voice behind it. So it put me off that microphone. So, <laughs> I moved on to this microphone and this new camera. Uh, I'm trying this one. Now you might have noticed in the last few videos, I, the, the sound has changed. Um, Neil told me it isn't very good sound. It might not be, I'd love to hear your views on it. Have you noticed a difference in sound in the last few videos, the makeover videos? I do know that it hisses slightly when you're quiet. You know when you shut up, it starts to hiss. But I do turn the volume down in editing and I think most of that goes away, but is it a really bad sound? I don't know. Let me know in the comments please, because the sound you're hearing now is the sound on the new setup. Um, it's in stereo and it's pointing towards me, but I'll record on this one again now. I'm just going to show you the old microphone, the new microphone now. So you can have it facing just one way like that, or the beauty of it is, and this is why I went for this, you can actually have one facing forward and one facing back, um, but it does record in mono, that's the only problem with it. But you can now, it's like an interview, so if I'm talking behind the camera and Maz is talking in front of the camera, that's why I got it. And I think when we're in towns and things and there's a bit of background noise, I think it's going to work. But I need your opinion. Is it any good? Um, my other option, my other option is to take the microphone off this one and put it onto the new camera. Which I'm reluctant to do, but I will if I have to. So we have options there, and there is also another microphone. I'll get into that in a moment. So as well as the microphone you're listening to through now on the new camera, and the old one, which we've actually got two of. There you go. Um, we also have this one, which I've had for years, donkey's years. This is when I used to record on my phone, which I think was a Samsung Galaxy 4 or something. It was very old. It's just a Rode Video Mic Me, it says, with a dead cat on it. Maybe I could try that, but I just can't see that being as good a sound as the other two. But I've got to play around with the sounds. So, new microphone. Uh, let me now just show you exactly... I'm going to have to film on this one now and show you what the new setup is. So here you have it. So the microphone on top is called a Comica Track Shot. Just in case you're wondering, um, I'll just show you the back of it there. It's got different modes, I don't know if you can see, it's got like two arms at the moment pointing at 30 degrees. As you turn them round you can change the modes to different ones and you can adjust the volume there. So I'm happy with it so far, I just want to learn to get the best settings out of it. But and as I say I need your opinions in the comments. It's a GoPro, t a GoPro 10, as you've probably established by now. That is the camera. I have had a GoPro 3 Plus, I think it was called, many, many years ago, what my mother bought me for my birthday. And in them days, oh, the fisheye, it was like a big curve. And it was horrible. It was horrible. You don't get fisheye with these. As long as you have it in linear mode, no fisheye. You now have a screen at the front as well as the back. You can have external microphones, so you can get the perfect setup with a GoPro, which you couldn't do until, well, the last two years. Um, I've also got this little light on it. I'm going to go into lights in a moment. And this is the stand what we're using, which I'll go into in a moment as well. Right, I'm going to go back onto the proper new camera now. As my beautiful assistant has just pointed out, thank you very much. I've got to tell you why we went for the GoPro 10. Well, I've just told you some of the things it... I've always been put off because of what it couldn't do. But now I know it can do it. That's the reason I've been thinking about going back to GoPro. Um, but the main reason is, you know, I've looked at the other... The DJI one, and there's a couple of others now on the market. This just seems so much more adaptable. 
The only downside to the GoPro is it's no zoom. That's the only downside. But I've got a way around that. Um, and yeah, I saw, I've seen Neil from Urban Van Life, Neil and Emma, using one and they've perfected it. As long as you learn the camera inside out and learn the settings, it can do everything you want it to do. So it's because of Neil and Emma that I decided to, we decided to go for the <laughs> GoPro 10. Right. So, I'm going to start with cameras, right? So, we've got the GoPro 10. We've still obviously got the Canon 80D as a backup. And we also still have this fantastic Canon SX60HS, which is the best zoom I've ever seen on a camera. It is incredible. So, my plan is carry this around for the vlogging and carry that around when you're at picturesque places and you want some good zoom in pictures because that will do it all unfortunately neither of our phones are really good enough to do what we want that you know the zoomy bit um maybe i'll upgrade a phone one day and uh, we'll have that but in the meantime that does the job so three cameras We've also got little action cameras as well as backups. Um, so camera wise, we're sorted. We've got everything. Now let's move on to lights. So we've got two new lights and they were very cheap, very cheap. Got that to start with. Um, and then I got that, <laughs> which is a bit bigger. The reasoning being this is perfect. It was, I think, 14 99 Turn it on. It's got different, it's got a flash, low setting, higher, higher, higher. You can't really see in this light, but on the high setting, let me just get it on, hang on. On, on the high setting, attached to the GoPro, it's okay for dark rooms. You know, as you're going around the rooms, it'll do the dark corners brilliantly. It's just not going to be good enough for outside filming if you want to go around graveyards and things at night. So, on top of that, as I say, we're only £15, which will probably keep that on the GoPro at all times. On top of that, I bought this for £30, I think it was. Um, got this last week, which I haven't really looked into. Don't even know how to turn it on. <laughs> um, is it that one? Is it dead? Oh, there we are, wow. Well, that's bright. So the beauty about this is, you see the colours there? It will change every colour. Um, any colour you want and loads of different brightnesses as well. Which is it doing there? Is that the colour or the brightness? I can't. I need to play around with it. But we've got a very bright light. So both of them on. Uh, whilst we're doing a ghost hunt or something like that is going to do the job. I'm hoping. I see no reason why that isn't enough for us. So, brilliant. That's his lighting sorted out. Tripods. We've got various tripods for various reasons. One last thing I forgot to mention about this new light is it's on green at the moment. I don't know if you can see that. It's excellent for behind you. You know, if you're in a studio or you just want to add some ambience behind you when you're filming, it's going to be good for that as well. It also does flashes and strobes and stuff, but I'm not going to be using it for that. So on to selfie stick stroke tripods. Got this with the GoPro. Big mistake. Big mistake. This is the GoPro, I think it's called a three-way arm. <sighs> It's my own fault because they're about £70 and I saw one on Amazon for, I think it was £35, half price, used it said. But I didn't realise it was the older model. There's like a 1.0 and a 2.0. This is the 1.0. The big problem with this is the actual stand. Because, it, you know, it's a selfie arm. Brilliant. Does the job. You can hold it far away from you. I like that. Mazzy doesn't because you can't swivel the camera around without moving your arm around 
you know what I mean? Um, but my problem with it was, in here is the actual stand, the tripod. Now, it's very cheap, very flimsy. It feels like it's going to break every time I use it. And when you've got the arm out, it, it just falls over. It is rubbish. Now, the new design apparently has a ball top, so you can swivel it around. And the stand, I believe, isn't actually inside there it's part of it so you just like lift them down and it's a lot sturdier so very disappointing in buying that that was me trying to save money but i've come up with a solution don't worry a free solution because i already had a tripod which will do the job so here is my glamorous assistant to show you our new yeah. one so this is the one we've been sitting you on all the morning. Mm -hmm. It's a lot sturdier. You've got a ball top like up the top. You can swivel it around and stuff like that. I can't yep. do it at the minute. Well, just pull that down so you can you can move yeah. it wherever you want. That's brilliant. You can't adjust the height on it, but that's why then, like us in particular, need it, You know, need other ones. But if this does you, it's brilliant. And I don't even think it's a brand actually, is it? I don't, I don't know. know what brand it is. The company actually sent us bend. this one, and I can't remember which yeah. company it was. You I feel bad. Bend the you legs. can bend them as well, you know, yeah. If you but it's it's up. stable. It's a proper stable tripod with a thing on the end. Yeah. And we're just putting the camera on there, and that's perfect. That's all yeah. we need for the GoPro. Yes. And it's a nice rubber grip as well. But if we if we need something a little bit taller. Yes. Yes, this one here, yeah. Our proper our proper tripod. tripod. This is um I move don't your, know what Move your fingers, it's oh. there. It's a VO I think it's VO2 uh go 235C B it says on it. Yeah. Absolutely brilliant. Very sturdy, you can adjust the legs, you can have it standing on the floor and it'll still come to about there, sort of thing. All swivel balls up the top. So that, it, we're basically going to use that more with this zooming camera. You know, when we're doing sunsets, when we want to zoom that into anything. It lives on there anyway, Yes, it? it lives on there. <laughs> yeah. So that comes in incredibly handy. When you see our, what do you call them? Music montages. Oh, yes. A lot of the footage. A lot of it is done on there. It's taken on that. Yeah. Now, behind you, there's also one more. Yeah, this was just cheap and cheerful. We got a sort of a bargain from Tesco Sainsbury's one day. It's You're about like, £10. It's <laughs> like a flogging station, I want to say. Yeah. So you have, like, this attachment. This it's is for a phone. Of, it's for a you, phone, so you'd put your phone I in there. I suppose you can put that in there, though, can't you? Your um, GoPro. You could work it out, yes. Yeah. It's got a, it's light, got a light on, on it. it. And space for a microphone up there. Yeah. But we tend to use this because... When we're going live. When we go live on our phone, on Mazzy's phone, yeah. we'll put it in there. We put the laptop under here so we can read all the comments. And this bends over the top. So you feel... It looks like you're looking into the camera, but you're actually reading the comments as well. But it's also higher. Yes. Um, so whereas that's not high enough, mm -hmm. uh, you can just sort of see the tops of her head. But then this is too bulky. So vloggers kind of need two or three gadgets for the same job. Definitely. Uh, we did have this one. just want to show you this one. Yeah, these are rubbish. <clears throat> this is... Um, what is this? It's, it's a, a Joby. Joby. Now, we've had several of these. I think it's called <laughs> Joby Gorilla Pod. Yeah, uh yeah, something like that. And what happens is these balls, they're all like ball joints, mm -hmm. which is good. You can manoeuvre them, but they weaken, don't they? And before you know it, you've got your camera on the table and it slowly slips down yes. like that. Yes, yes. Um, Rubbish. And they're not cheap. They're about 80, 90. Yeah. They might even be £100. And yeah. we've had three of them over the seven years, yeah, I think. Yeah, so just bear that in mind if you are going photographing and just look into it yourself. I'll tell you why I went for that. That setup is exactly the same as Casey Neistat's. Exactly <laughs> Back in the, the day. Same. Back in the day when yes. he was the number one YouTuber, this is what he had. And I just turned around to some... I think, I don't know if it was my mum or someone. I just turned around and said, look, if I'm going to be a full-time vlogger, I need the best, Yeah. you know, the best tools for the job, if you like. So I just went out and got it. And I don't regret buying it at all. Um, but it's just had its day. It's old. And I can tell you now, Casey Neistat, although he isn't making videos like he used to, I bet you anything he won't be filming on that 
for his daily vlogs I bet he anymore. He won't knock it either, though. That's not a bad camera, really. Is no, it? no, it's a so, it's a good camera. It's still good to this day, but um, the, the the main difference between this our old Canon and the GoPro for me, the stabilization is amazing. Yes. You can literally go like this with the GoPro. Well, I'm holding it at the moment. Yeah, I'll do that. I don't know. I don't know if it's gonna. Sure, yeah, and it rocking. You really are going like this. <laughs> I'm going for it now. I don't yeah. know how bad that footage is, but it's incredible. It's incredible. amazing, yes. So not everything is perfect with this camera. Don't no. get us wrong. <laughs> we have a problem with the battery, big time. Yeah. Um, this is on 25% battery at the moment. It was on 100% when I started this video about half an hour ago. Really bad. And that is in, I'm filming in 1080 rather than 4K because that really canes the battery. Yes. Uh, luckily, where have I got that little box if I can find it? Do you want me to help you? Yeah. <laughs> if you open <laughs> that just up. Put this down. We have got four, <laughs> is it four batteries? Four batteries. And this is a brilliant little thing, it was £45. Yeah. Pounds. No, they're not proper GoPro ones, are they? But I'm guessing not at that price. No. no. But three batteries. This is your charger. That's your charger. Fantastic. And it shows red there, then amber, then green, I believe. Yeah, USB charge. So that's great. So we have got batteries, we haven't run out of batteries yet. But batteries we're not happy with. No. The other problem is getting the batteries out. Yes. It's a nightmare getting you, them out. You literally have to sort of undo everything. Yeah. Have to To do the ba and I'm not able to do it. So if you're busy or whatever, I have to interrupt you, don't I, to change a battery. It's not just a matter. <laughs> oh, of I've got it around the wrong way. <laughs> it's not just a matter of lifting the shutter. Uh, yes. The side and it's sliding out. You have to take the whole camera. Take the whole yeah. What's this called? And when you're doing that um, shoe, joint, tripod? Tripod. <laughs> you have to take the tripod off to get into the camera, which is a nightmare. But overall, happy with it. Yeah. One more tiny little problem. Yes. Um, this is on, it's called linear mode, which is basically, it's the size of your picture, right? It zooms in a little bit more than on widescreen which it has got a wide as well but you can just see these in shot so if you can imagine i'm the them i'm walking along and they're going in shot like yeah, that yeah bouncing up as hell yeah now <laughs> the way to, we've resolved that is this was neil again from urban van life he suggested getting one of these and he just raises it up a little bit it's like a brilliant. spacer this cube here yeah. but it's really good because now we've got two extra shoes yeah as they call them so we can attach another light yeah. anything really yeah. so so I'm very handy. happy with that. So we've pretty much got there. We just need to work out whether we're happy with the microphone or not. Yes. Um, but nothing's perfect, is it? But I do think by the time there's a, a GoPro Hero 15, it will be perfected. It'll have zoom and everything. Yeah, yeah. It takes time, doesn't it? You know, you have to use these so things. So that's 10 years. No, <laughs> us, I mean, with this setup. Oh, yeah. I mean, yeah. we're talking about it now, but in a month's time, we might suggest actually do this, do that, it will get that, you know? So this is just how we feel it's going to work for us at the moment, anyway. Yeah. And it, the f <laughs> we know that the actual footage is a lot better than what we, yes. we have had. Uh, just going back to the mic, though, it does actually have an internal mic, so you don't need this. Well, it's got an internal mic. Yes, which We've is got that? the No, it's not even that. Oh, isn't it? No, the camera has an internal mic. Then you can oh. buy the media mod, which has another, a better microphone, but it's still not as good as an external microphone. So explain then why we needed to buy an external. So other people know, can they just get away with just buying the GoPro or do they need all this setup? Why do we need this? You can't have an external microphone, which gives you the best sound. Oh, okay, Without wind. having, yeah. Yeah. Without having the uh, media mod. Right. Because it won't plug into the actual camera. It will only plug into the casing on yeah. this. Wasn't there something about this as well, to get a longer one of these? They come with a short one, but luckily we had a longer well, one. Well, no, Neil suggested, that that is the longer one, but Neil suggested putting a little bolt in there so that you can actually screw this back. Oh, I see, because it's quite, quite awkward underneath there, yeah. is what you're saying. Yeah. Oh, okay, I see what you It's all doing. little designs which they will sort out yes. in the next few years, I am sure. And on top of our super duper new camera setup, we've also got a new laptop, which isn't new. This is as old one. 
basically I was broke which was six years old so I ordered another one it had like one terabyte of memory it sounded fantastic too good to be true because it was only about 450 pounds um turned up and it was from I think it was 11 years old so it it's a reconditioned reconditioned yeah, yeah. Uh, well, it, what, what they were trying to tell you, it had the internals of, like, a uh, modern laptop. Yeah. You didn't realise the actual laptop was old. You know, it, it works. It does the job. It's not bad, but it's we got... Slow. It's a bit slow. We got is a bit rubbish. <laughs> given this by Emma from Urban Van Life. Yeah, which This is one year... This is five years old, so it's younger than the old, old one, one we had. <laughs> yeah. And it's bigger, as you can see. Uh, we've only ever had the small one. This is bigger, which is fantastic for watching films in yeah, bed. this has been a life changer for me and you, mm. hasn't it? And when you come to editing, I don't know, the trackpad just seems so much easier to use yeah. when we're editing, so that's making a massive difference as well. So uh, It's also compa very compatible with the GoPro. You can plug it in, still get Eclipse off, yeah. nice and easy. Yeah. Not had any trouble with it whatsoever. So thank you very much, Emma. Thank you, Emma. We love you, love Emma. You. We don't, we love her. Absolutely. Absolutely. What's is that a heart? No, it's not a heart, is it? What are you doing? I don't know. <laughs> One last thing we didn't mention about the GoPro 10. Yeah. It's waterproof. Oh, gosh, yeah. If you're doing, like, underwater footage, you're a scuba diver. There you go, wreck diver. <laughs> waterproof. So, yeah, yes. we are Which means, then, this. you can vlog out in the rain, yeah? I'm guessing. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, you've got your microphone yeah. to consider. Yeah. But yeah, that won't bother me. I'll still use it outside. No problem. Right, that is it. So just wanted to run through what we are using this year for our vlogging. Can I just add a couple of more things? Yeah. Sorry. The old camera ain't going to waste. No. I'll be using it. We'll be using it for emergencies. Mm -hmm. And also, I just want to say, this video wasn't sponsored. We bought this. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, no, no. This video, well, the GoPro. GoPro did send us this camera. Um, just to let you know that, but we haven't been paid to do a review on it or anything. That's what she means. But thank you, GoPro, for sending us this uh, GoPro 10 out. Looking forward to the 11, which you've told us we'll get it before anyone else. So we hope you found that useful. Um, just showing you what we have got to use this year on as adventures, which start tomorrow. Um, hope it helps some other people out. You know, if you need any advice on cameras, I'm not the best person for it, I'll be honest, <laughs> but I'll help anyone as much as I can. Um, and we're looking forward to our yes. new GoPro setup, aren't we? Yes, absolutely. So join us tomorrow. <laughs> yep. Love you all. Take care. Bye bye. bye.